Dance party! <laughs> okay, I think I've had my fun here. Hello everyone, my name is Jusirium and welcome back to Let's Play Dead Rising 2. In the last episode, we met Rebecca's source and it turned out... Well, it turned out to be TK's co-hostesses of Terror is Reality. Yes, we had to endure double trouble. And by double trouble, I mean the Bailey twins. And by the Bailey twins, I mean TK's twin co-hostesses. You already get the gist of it. So why am I rambling? Anyways, in the last episode, Stacy told us that there was something interesting going on in the Royal Flush Plaza. So I'm gonna go check that out, but first, I wanna see what was being said on this board here. Because I tried reading that last time and I didn't have enough time to because we had to go and save Rebecca. Anyways, <clears throat> opening night. This marker smells neat. Three days left. Workplace safety notice. Janitorial staff spotted someone in official Baron Von Brothaus uniform throwing leftovers into the tiger habitat. This causes a lot of tiger-related problems. First, that meat belongs to Von Brothaus. Second, tigers are very dangerous. Very. Third, apparently the tiger is developing some attachment issues with the employee giving it treats. If we can't make tiger... Bratwurst, it's not our business. Mr. Manager. Oh! I see. I get it. Ted is an employee here. Anyways, prep session rules. One, CCP. Follow it. Two, never frown at customer. Secret shoppers. Three, wash hands. Every now and then. Four, respect Something, something. But I can't read that. Blah, 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 blah. Something, Joe, but Norm is a king of butt. Okay, whoever, whoever's behind that tomfoolery, I don't think that was very funny. I mean, whoever wrote that on the board, they're pretty much fired. Of course, then again, we're in the midst of a zombie apocalypse, so I'm guessing being fired from a place like Baron Von Brothaus is not their problem, either because they escaped or said employees who wrote on that board are dead. Yeah, the, just that interesting little tidbit about the, the meat. Why does that one bit and piece sound like something that Ted would do? Yeah, Ted. The guy we fought in the Yucatan? The one with Snowflake? Yeah. Why does that sound like something that he would do? Alright, I'm... I'm getting a little bit carried away here. Alright, so apparently Stacy told me that there was a mail cart in the Royal Flush Plaza, and there's a possibility that it may or may not have Zombrex. The only way to find out is to have a look ourselves. Mm. 
And there's the mail cart right there. Let's see. Hello? Hmm? I don't think there's anyone there! There's anyone there. <sighs> Sir. Maybe you can sign for this. What? Special delivery, signature required. I have rounds to do and I'm behind! Um, you do know there's a zombie outbreak going on, right? Neither rain nor sleet or hail nor zombies are going to keep me from my appointed round. Whatever, buddy, if it makes you feel any better. I could use that anyway. Here you go. You're Chuck Green. You stop. Actually, I have been looking for you. This bag is a very special delivery. Just for you. Uh, thanks? Wait a minute. Runaway mailman? Hmm. Fragile box. What the fuck? Ah! Whoa! tried to blow me up first. Oh god, run! RUN! Okay, so Carl- OW! So Carl's pretty easy to take care of. I mean... You like my package? No, I did not! In fact, it tried to blow up in my face! Alright, so basically, he likes to run around, throw mail bombs, and try to shoot at us with the shotgun. But, he's. Ow! He's pretty easy to deal with if you know what you're doing. Ow! Unless you don't spot him like that! I mean, he's very easy to deal with because once he starts firing that shotgun in one direction, he doesn't really have any course correction. I mean, it's really easy to avoid his shot and to avoid him and his attacks. Potatoes. Ow! Nope! No, it is not mail time. And what, Stacy? Ow! Um. Ah! Stacy, I'm in the middle of something right now. Can that wait until later?
All right, where's that little bastard? Carl! Carl! Where are you? Ah, there you are. Ow! Boom! Ow! Shit! No, it's not! Whoa! Oh, you're trying to fight back! How cute! Really? Yeah. You want a signature? Ow! So, Carl, you want a signature? Well, here's your goddamn si yeah. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be delayed there. Where was I? Ah, yes. So, you want a signature? Well, here's your... Yeah. Fuck! I missed again! Ow, what the- ah! Okay. No, it's not. Ow! So, Carl, you want a signature? Well? So, you want a signature? There! There's your goddamn signature! I need this for my daughter. Got Zombrex. Nice. Alright. Well, I guess that does it for this episode of Let's Play Dead Rising 2. I mean, I was going to do that line when jumping at him and hitting him with a katana, but I guess that package bomb worked too. Alright. I think with that being said, we can move on to something else, because we have a whole lot of time to kill, and we don't have to give Katie her Zombrex yet, and we have a little bit of time before the main mission. So until then, my name has been Jasirium, this has been Let's Play Dead Rising 2, and I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, arrivederci, adios, ciao, farewell, all the forms of goodbye.